The library, by the way, is not just filled with books, oh, you know that? Uh -huh. We've got an art exhibition coming up. Of course, let's welcome Jed Cridlin Hughes with the library. Hello. Hello. Clean Jed. Hand. Thank Thanks you for much. having me. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Abby is with us. Samut, yes. is that right? Abby Samut, right. and then Orlando Corona. How you doing, and guys? The event is coming up where we can actually meet and greet the artists. We actually had we actually had that already. That was last week, but okay. the art is out on display now. So okay. yeah, so we're, it's we're running through when? Uh, it's running through the end of December, so okay. we'll be up right up until the new year. But just the Hughes Library. Yeah, that's right. Just the main library downtown. Well, let's start with Abby. Yeah. What you got? <laughs> what you bring? Um, well, my work I would consider it fiber art. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of weaving, working with ropes and knotting, <coughs> stuff like that. And I, I did a piece that it just made me think about how Greenville is a very textile-oriented oh, yeah. city starting out. So that's why I chose to do like a weaving type of mm -hmm. artwork. I love that. Elena, what about you? Oh, thank you. So I brought a couple oil paintings here. One of them is a landscape of the sanctuary by the way in Nashville. And then I have a couple still lives of some flowers and then and a toad as well. And a lot of the work that I brought to the library is sceneries of Greenville. So I have the Campbell Bridge. I believe I have the Cancer Survivor Park yeah. mm -hmm. and just scenarios from around the Greenville because we have a lot of things here that you know are worth sharing sure. and creating. Yes, yeah. well, talk about too about the importance of why y'all wanted to bring art into the library. Well again, art is uh, such an important part of the Greenville community, obviously such a great uh, arts uh, community here. Um, so we really wanted to give local artists a chance to shine. And you know, so many people come into the library for books and programs mm -hmm. and You still uh, have music. books now. Lots of books. Lots of books. <laughs> lot of, we think we have sure over 700,000 books, so we got yeah. a lot. Um, so, you know, we want to give people a chance who might not necessarily go to a gallery or an art show or something like that, a chance to see some art when they come into the library mm -hmm. to get books for their kids or for themselves and things like that. So it's really a great opportunity to kind of get the artists some exposure and then we also get a chance for people to come in and see some great it's art. It's through the end of December, of mm -hmm. course. Yeah. Are, are some of the art... Uh, Pictures and things, textile art, are they for sale at all? Anything? Unfortunately, no. We can't, no. well, yes and no. It's just for our pleasure. We can't, we can't, well, we can't sell them through the library, but you're, everyone is welcome to contact the artists individually and they do sell pieces. They have cards. Um, so, yeah, yep. so they are uh, available that way. So, um, unfortunately, yeah, we don't, we're not set up to sell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. yeah. Well, Abby, talk about how did you get into art? What's the, um, you know, some of your inspiration? Yeah, sure. Um, my inspiration started just really over the last year or two with COVID, just all the uncertainty. I felt like I saw a need. There were so many people that were just anxious and stressed and, and lost. So I, I started weaving and um, my, my company is Rahab's Rope. So every piece that I make has a red cord attached. Um, oh. Rahab in the Old Testament hung a red cord out and she was a woman who lived in a, a world where there weren't um, there wasn't like a Christian culture around there, but right. God still used her. So my mission that I mm -hmm. am giving out is um, reminding people that no matter what, you can still be used by God and he mm -hmm. still loves you. And um, there's what still grace for you girl. no matter yeah. what. Yeah. That's great. And where are you from? Um, I'm from, I grew up in Hilton Head, but we've been here eight, eight years, something like Very that. Very good. Yeah. Arlena, what about you? Where did you get your inspiration from? So my inspiration was kind of interesting. Uh, it was during my senior year in high school. I needed to take an art credit. I needed either band or art, so I just figured <laughs> I'll take art. You were forced like, to become an artist. Yeah. I just figured I'd take art. It'd be easy credit, and I'll go through. But to my surprise, I ended up falling in love with art, yeah. and then one piece led to another one, and three years later here, it's, it's been a blessing just continuing to create art for people to enjoy. That is so cool. I love how you're like, all right, this is just something I'm going to breeze through <laughs> yeah. real quick. And you're like, wait, I kind of actually love this. <laughs> Thank you. That is so fun. Do y'all have studios set up? Or how can we find, you know, other than going to the Hughes Main Library, how can we come in and purchase some pieces? Uh, well, I've got a little thing set up on Etsy. It's Perfect. Etsy Shops, Rahab's Rope. And then I also have work at a, a cute little shop off of Wade Hampton called Bellevue in Paris. Yeah. So she's got okay. some That's of good. my work. That's great. Right. And if, if you want to find my work, I'm actually one of the Brendan Fellows for the GCCA Center. And it's located on West Greenbow. It's called the Greenbow Center for Creative Arts. Mm -hmm. There I have a studio. You can purchase my art. Or if you, you know, just want to talk to me, you know, 
you can always make an appointment and you know make that happen. Cause y'all make yeah. it look like okay, right? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it like looks it looks great. It's it. so it's easy. Like, oh, yeah. I could do it. You look at all the detail yeah. and the 3D element of it too, and I mean it's <laughs> it's amazing. Y'all are super talented. So he had to take an art class, and you had to have COVID. <laughs> yeah. I've had to, three times. To, to discover yeah. your real talent. Mark. Yes, and there we go. So anything else we need to know about these? I don't think so. Like I said, just come on down to the Hughes Main Library. We're set up kind of along the walkway. As you come in, you'll see it, um, the yep. art all in there. And, um, you know, welcome to come by and check it out. We have some really interesting stuff. Um, you know, we have the textile piece that I think is really interesting. We have a number of kind of... Uh, more traditional paintings. We also have a quilt for this exhibit, which is a little bit different from yeah. what we've normally done. So a lot of different kind of variety in, in what's on display this time. We like variety. We yeah. like variety. <laughs> that is so cool. The uh, Hughes Main Library, always make it up fine. You can go to greenvillelibrary.org for more. And then, you know, of course, look up these great artists. Thank you, guys. So thank, thank you, thank you for having us. Yeah. Very Appreciate cool. it.